guys, it's Alex here, back with another Dave Dialogue. Now, I recently got a comment uh, about handling your tree frog, and they said, Hey, appreciate that you showed us a guide on how to handle your frog, but shouldn't you show us a video about what to do before you handle your frog? And that got me thinking, yeah, I probably should. So let's start with talking about when you should handle your frog. Uh, of course, you want to be doing it at night. Uh, 99% of frogs are nocturnal, so wait until night and wait until you fed them so they aren't super chumpy. Uh, if you feed them beforehand, they might not be in, uh, you know, hunter-hunter mode uh, and be jumping around your entire place, so that's probably a good start. But uh, next, what you should do involves these. All right, now I know we're in the reptile community, so personal hygiene isn't really what we're well known for, and taking a shower once a week is very difficult, but luckily, this time it's only for your hands. So, what you've got to do, you get one of these, the old bottle of soap, turn on the sink, get some hot water, preferably, uh, give it the old squirt, and then uh, go to town. Now you wanna make sure you guys have this on standby. Um, paper towels are really useful in this situation because uh, in case you do leave any soapy residue on your hands, you don't want your frog to be drinking it. Because as you guys remember, I'm sure, I've probably said it a million times, but they drink through their skin. So any nasty stuff you have in your hands uh, are gonna be going directly into their body. And if you have ever tried to drink soap before, you'll know uh, that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, so definitely wash your hands and dry them off. Now, I'm pretty sure you can also use hand sanitizer. Just make sure that you wash off your hands and wipe them off, like, extremely well. Imagine, um, if you were strapped to a keg of 80% alcohol and all you could do was drink. That's basically what happens if you put hand sanitizer on your hands and then force your frog to hold on to you. Yeah, that's a, that's a recipe for disaster. So, I personally prefer soap, but hand sanitizer works as long as you're careful. Of course, if you're really desperate, you can always use um, gloves instead. Um, just make sure the gloves are clean, uh, because again, you know you know how they drink. Um, if you have a nasty pair of gloves covered in paint and chemicals, just wash your hands. But if you want to be safe, you can always use gloves. And uh, other than that, uh, if you're not wearing long sleeves or anything like that, maybe you wash your arms if you want to be extra careful. Um, don't let them jump on your face or anything. You know, you have oil, a lot of oil in your face. I know most of you guys are teenagers have been there, so I know what it's like. Uh, so just make sure you keep a watchful eye over them and make sure the appropriate body parts are clean before you hang out. Uh, and you should be fine. Uh, last thing, the last step I'd recommend is going over to your lights. Yoink. Dimming them making it so that your frog's eyes don't have to bleed while you hang out together and watch some nice TV. Almost my favorite. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed. See you around.